that is Deviant Crow Spookamonth. Let there be spooks with your host, DeviantCrow.exe. For this spooky month, I've designed my OC to look like an EXE creepypasta. And well, since it is spooky month, and I've designed my OC as an EXE creepypasta character, it would only make sense that this month we talk about Sonic EXE, also known as one of the worst creepypastas out there, and possibly one of the worst horror stories ever written. Like, Holy Jesus. If you've ever read the original creepypasta, then I have a warning for you. It's not very good. It's awful. It's one of the worst stories I've ever seen written. And when I read the story about five years ago, I laughed my goddamn ass off of it. I, I went like, this can't be a real story, right? This isn't the real one. This is, no, no, it's the original story. So let's take a reading through it, for just for context. I'm a total Sonic the Hedgehog fan, much like everyone else. I like the newer games, but I don't mind playing the classics. I don't think I've ever played glitchy or hacked games before. Though, I don't think I want to play any after the experience I've had. It started on a nice summer afternoon. I was playing Sonic Unleashed. I like how you get to explore towns in it. Until I noticed out of my precipital vision that the mailman has arrived and put something in my mailbox. Something unusual and left. I paused my game to go see what I got in the mail. The only thing in the mailbox was a CD case for computers and a note. I took it inside. I looked at the note and realized it was from my dear friend, Kyle, let's just call him that, whom I hadn't heard from in two weeks. I know that because I recognized his handwriting, though what was weird is how it looked. It looked badly written and scratchy and somewhat difficult to read, as if Kyle was having a hard time writing it down and did it in a hurry. This is what he wrote! Tom, I can't take it anymore! I had to get rid of this thing before this thing sing somehow before it was too late! And I was hoping you'd do it for me. I can't do it. He's after me. And if you don't destroy the CD, he'll come after you too. He's too fast for me. Please, Tom, destroy this godforsaken disc before he comes after you too. It's too late for me. Whoa. Whoa. I assure you, breaking a disc, like, uh, you know, a little CD thing, is much easier than sending it away to someone else's house. You can't even use the excuse, oh, I'm too weak, because you gotta go outside, you gotta put the thing in the mail, you gotta wait for it to be sent, there's, there's, there's nothing about weakness, there's no, just, there's no excuse, this is just horribly written, and as we'll get further into the story, we'll see how much of a joke this story actually is. Destroy the disc, and you'll destroy him, but do it quick, otherwise he'll catch you, don't even play the game, it's what he wants, just destroy it, please! Your beloved friend, Kyle. Well, that was certainly weird. Even though Kyle is my best friend and I haven't seen him in two weeks, I didn't do what he asked me because I'm a fucking moron. Huh? I didn't think a simple gaming disc would do anything bad to him. After all, it's just a game, right? Boy, was I wrong about this. Why is this written like a fucking sitcom? Holy shit. Boy, was I wrong. I'll learn my lesson next time. Next time my friend tells me to destroy a disc, I destroy a disc. Anyway, I looked at the disc, and it looks like any ordinary computer CDR disc, except it has a black marker written on it. Sonic EXE. And it was much unlike Kyle's handwriting, meaning that he must have gotten it from somewhere else, like a pawn shop or eBay. When I saw Sonic on the writing of the CD, I was actually excited and wanted to play it, since I'm a... Big Sonic fan, big old fan of the Sonic games and merchandise. Gotta play me some Sonic, oh boy. I went up into my room, turned on my computer and put the disc in and installed the game. When the title popped up, I noticed it was the first Sonic game. I was like, awesome, because like I said earlier, I like the classics. The first thing I noticed that was out of place was when I pressed start, there was a split little second when I when I saw the title image turn into something much different, something that I now consider horrifying before cutting to black. I remember what the image looked like in the split second before the game cut to black. The sky has darkened, the title emblem was rusted and ruined, the Sega 1991 was now Sega 666, and the water turned red like blood. 
one, except it looked hyper realistic. But the freakiest thing was the fact that in the split second frame with Sonic, his eyes were pitch black and bleeding out, bleeding with two glowing red dots staring right at me, and his smile had stretched wider to the edge of his face. I was rather disturbed about this image when I first saw it, though I figured it was just a glitch and forgot about it. You know, my game turning into the Antichrist 666 and shit, devilly stuff, a whole bunch of spooky stuff. It's just for split second, I might be glitch. Who knows? Just a little glitch, a little error. You know, it happens all the time. I was playing Mario the other day and the Antichrist was there for a second. I was like, ah, simple glitch, you know, that happens. Hello everyone, before we continue the video, have you considered donating to my Patreon? Did I tell you they have exclusive wards that you can't get anywhere else from me? including early videos that I put out early, and also stuff like custom videos or calls. The cheapest tier is three bucks, and the most expensive tier is only 25 bucks. And if you want to support me and support my YouTube, this is the best way to do it. Now, we got a little bit of context of how bad this story is, but I recommend reading the rest of the story because it's just as bad, if not worse, it gets much worse. But what I want to talk about is how weirdly this inspired a whole franchise, despite being really, really bad. I think I have an answer as to why. Sonic EXE would even inspire other EXE creepypasta stories that range from you know, oh, that's a little spooky to being hot flaming dog shit. Oh, oh my god, guys, look, I have called Sonic EXE at 3 a.m. I'm so scared. Oh, I got him on FaceTime. Oh. Sonic EXE would even get a somewhat competent fan game. And when I say somewhat competent, I mean it, it retakes the game well and is actually more scarier than the original Creepypasta itself. It's still not scary, but it's not dumb. It's somewhat competent. Now, you might be asking, but how did this dumb story, this really dumb story, get popular in the first place? And I think there's an obvious answer to that. Children thought it was scary. Maybe young teenagers. No one else did. But, you know, children did, and that's what got it popular. The story of Sonic EXE is somewhat relatable to a kid. A kid that got, you know, a little curious of a game sent to them. And the logic, although it doesn't make perfectly clear and is obviously stupid, to a child or someone very young, it may not come off as stupid. From an adult's perspective, Sonic EXE is overly edgy and has a lot of plot holes. To a kid, their only thing they're really going to focus on is that a child, beloved character of theirs is now evil and spookier. Something they once saw as innocent is now corrupted. And that's really spooky for a child. If you look up Sonic EXE fan art, you're going to find a lot of art that isn't very good. It isn't very professional. It's obviously made by children. And, you know, if children want to make arts of things they find creepy, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. If you're a child, if you were a child and you loved Sonic EXE and you found it a spooky story, that's 100% fine. But I'm just pointing out the obvious reasons why Sonic EXE got popular in the first place. Hell, I wouldn't really be too surprised if the original story was also made by a child. Because, you know, it comes off as a story made by a child who's scared of, you know, like, very childlike things and, doesn't, and isn't really utterly scared by more adult concepts. In fact, there is a bit of proof that it was made by a child, obviously. Because as later on, when it got more popular around January 2014, only a few months after Sonic EXE's PewDiePie introduction, the Creepypasta Wiki administration decided to delete the story from their website, stating that it was badly written and it had too many cliches. As you can see, I am furious with the fact that my masterpiece, which has won the hearts of millions, has made a massive impact on the internet, is being brought down by a bunch of jealous, ignorant, arrogant, retarded furry haters. But that does not mean I'm just gonna sit down and take this lightly. Nope, 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 nope. They have been messing with the wrong bull. Now they've called out the horns. Listen, everyone, I need your help with this. We are at war here. I want every Sonic EXE fan who is reading this to get the word out. Yes, taking down of this masterpiece was obviously a, th a threat against the most oppressed minority of all, the furries. <laughs> All the single furries, all the single furries. Now, I want to stress right now, I have nothing wrong with furries. 
If you like wearing fur costume or like identifying as a furry, that's fine with me. Just don't be an asshole. And hell, I can't even say I'm mad at this. This is obviously just a child not getting his way and having a tantrum, which is fine. They're young and stupid. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna hold it against them because it's, they're probably an adult right now or someone much older right now. They probably regret doing this, I hope so. It seemed like the creator of Sony EXE was last active like around a year ago, but has recently gone offline due to reasons I can't find out. According to their profile, they, 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 their character species is an immortal of darkness and chaos and they were fucking, they were 27? Now let's let's see. Um, they were 28. They're, they're they're possibly 28 right now, and that means and, and and Sonic EXE was made around eight years ago. So the time where he created his story, he was apparently 20 years old. 20 years old. And the rant they had about uh, Sonic EXE getting removed was made two years after Sonic EXE, ma making it where they were 22 years old when they made this rant. Throughout this entire video, I was thinking, oh, you know, I shouldn't be making fun of this. This was made by some kid. I'm gonna real, I'm gonna feel really bad about this. But no, this was a full grown adult. And I still kind of feel bad about it because they might be autistic. I don't know. I. Oh. Actually, it appears that they have been active as of recently on their Twitter. So they're still online. Uh, so, dude, if you're watching this, can I get an interview with you? It would be super interesting to ask you some questions about, you know, the whole Sonic EXE thing. Also, no shame against you, I'm, ju uh, ju I'm just kind of weird. <laughs> Holy shit, the creator of Sonic EXE is based as fuck. He's, a, he's an anarchist left. What? 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 Oh, no. Oh, my God. The creator of Sonic EXE has, has uh, contacted me on Twitter.com. What? what? Okay, he's, he's not left-leaning. But, uh, but, uh, he, it's still kind of, kind of weird. You know, uh, if I had a nickel for every time uh, I got the creator of Sonic's EXE to respond to me, I'd have two nickels. I'm sure that's not a lot of nickels, but it's still weird it happened twice. Holy shit, the creator of Sonic EXE has seen my EXE crow. The, what, what? What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, 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 shit. Oh. Oh! Okay, we didn't use Telegram, we decided to use Discord, but uh, still, this is a real thing that's that's happening. It's currently happening. I'm updating updating this as, as, it, as this happens. I'm editing the video as the interview goes out. Oh god, I wish I scripted this video. Holy fucking shit. So according to them, they made the story back between 2011 and 2012. So roughly around 18 to 19 years old, which makes a bit more sense. They're fairly young, I guess. That's fairly young, I guess. Apparently, he's actually made a remake to the Sonic EXE story. So that story might actually be better and might be worth checking out. I might make a video on it in the future if it's interesting enough, but for right now, it's just kind of interesting that I'm talking to the creator of Sonic EXE. So yeah, that's weird. I did ask them if they were autistic or not because of, I got a kind of a autistic vibe from them. And personally, they couldn't clarify if they were or not, but that's okay, that's perfectly fine. I was very shocked to get any word from the creator of Sonic EXE while making this video. I did not plan to interview with them or talk with them at any point of the original video. This is all, this, this, this whole thing has kind of just happened like in, in like an hour or two. It's just, I'm just kind of shocked by this whole thing. He's very nice. I have to say he's he's very nice. Uh, to the creator of Sonic EXE, I hope I didn't call him off as mean or anything in this video. You're, you're a very cool guy and, I, and I, I like your recent art too. So that's cool. God, October has been such a weird month. Steve's in Smash. Uh, Trump could be dying. And uh, I got to talk with the creator of Sonic EXE. Wow, what what a what a interesting mo holy shit. <laughs> oh god, this is this is, this has been one of those one of those days where it's just 
interesting and cool stuff has been happening. Hello everyone, if you liked my video, please like and subscribe. Also, comment down below if you have any opinions on it, whether they be positive or negative, I really want to hear what you think. Please check out my social medias down below, and also check out my Discord, where you can talk to me and other people that like my content. If you want to know who did the art for my OCs in my videos, and in the title card, please check that down below. And also, don't forget to love yourself.